Relations between the U.S. and Russia are at their most tense in years. And Wednesday, the nation's leaders will meet face to face in Geneva. Expectations for a breakthrough are low. Joe Biden insists he wants a more stable and predictable relationship with the Kremlin. But the list of contentious issues between them is long, including cyber attacks, human rights, and Russia's interference in Syria and Ukraine. Let's cross live now to our correspondent in Geneva, Gulliver Craig, for more on this story. Gulliver, some have been comparing this Russia-U.S. meeting to the 1985 Geneva summit between Cold War rivals Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev. You know, that seems like a high bar, though. What are the realistic expectations for tomorrow? Absolutely. In 1985, there were real signs that something could be changing in transatlantic relations. That's really not the case today. If there's one thing that the Kremlin and the White House do seem to agree on, it is that relations between Russia and the United States are at a low point, and the prospects for improving them in the short to medium term don't look too good. Joe Biden might be having a bit of a reset with European countries, but he absolutely does not want to be seen as pressing the reset button with Russia. That is a strategy that is seen as not having worked out well for Barack Obama. He talks instead about restoring stability and predictability to the relationship. But Joe Biden surely knows Vladimir Putin well enough to know that the Russian president thrives on unpredictability. He likes to shock the world. That's how he manages to sort of show his weight on the international stage with, for example, the annexation of Crimea, with Russia's intervention in Syria, with the cyber attacks and poisonings that in all likelihood can be traced back to the Kremlin. Now, Joe Biden took advantage of the NATO summit this week to reiterate his promise to NATO allies, particularly the Baltic states and Poland, which are particularly worried about Russia, that the United States would be taking a hard line against Vladimir Putin and making it clear that it does not approve of uh, Vladimir Putin's regime's uh, behaviour in recent years and wants to see things changing. But now, though Joe Biden's rhetoric since he's been president has been pretty strong, pretty confrontational uh, with Russia, the, um, his behaviour has not actually kept up with the rhetoric necessarily. Remember, this summit was convened by Joe Biden at a time when Russia was really threatening Ukraine, amassing hundreds of, sorry, tens of thousands of troops on the Ukrainian border. That in itself is seen as a victory by the Kremlin, I think, if the aim of that was uh, to be taken seriously. And also, of course, the United the United States has suspended sanctions against Nord Stream 2, meaning that this gas pipeline between Russia and Germany will in all likelihood be completed, despite the fact that the United States officially at least uh, continues to oppose it. France 24 is Gulliver Craig in Geneva ahead of the highly anticipated Putin-Biden summit. Thank you.